Today, we are going to talk about why governments print money and how this leads to so much inflation. A word that I heard a lot when I was growing up in the Middle East, but never thought I would hear it so much when I moved to the West. Inflation refers to the loss of money's purchasing power, which results in a general and lasting increase in the prices of goods and services. Have you ever heard your grandparents or parents talk about how cheap things used to be back in the day? Apparently, a loaf of bread used to cost only 6p in the 1960s. A pint of lager was 20p in 1971 in London and well over five pounds by 2021. A McDonald's burger was 18p in 1970 and it's around 350p today. This is inflation. More money is needed to purchase the same amount of something. And this usually happens because governments print too much money. So why do they do that? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. In the past, money used to be backed by gold. Picture it as a contract of sorts, stating that X amount of money was equivalent to X amount of real physical gold. And you could actually go to the bank and exchange it. For more on this, be sure to check out my video about fiat money. This is not the case anymore. There are definitely more money notes going around than there is actual gold to back it up. Bank notes nowadays are pieces of paper that since no longer measure to the gold standard are worth what they are because we believe them to. Sounds a little dodgy, doesn't it? This increase in the amount of money circulating translates into higher purchasing power for people, which in turn increases the demand for products and services. In many cases, if not done conservatively, it raises prices and generates inflation. So you may be wondering, why do governments print more money? One of the reasons is to stimulate the economy and generate more jobs and opportunities. As our economy and population grows, there will be a greater demand for money. More people equals more potential customers. There will be more goods produced to meet the demand of the growing population, and therefore there must be enough money available to purchase these goods. If the supply of money circulating is not increased, it can create bottlenecks in the supply chain, and that will in turn act as brakes on the economic growth. Another common reason for printing money is to replace old banknotes with newer ones. Banknotes being passed from one person to another get worn down. Imagine what would happen if we didn't print new money. The notes would continue to disintegrate and leave both businesses and customers with zero cash flow. It would be impossible to pay bills and salaries and spending in general would probably come to a halt. In this case, printing money is more like doing maintenance on an engine to keep it running smoothly. The third reason why governments print money is to pay off their own deficits. By monetizing their debt, the governments use inflation to finance some of their own spending. Through this process, the government can temporarily borrow money required to finance their debt. Afterwards, when the interest and the repayments are due, the governments print more money to pay it off. This increase in the money supply means a decrease in the value for normal people, but will solve the problem for the government debt. Finally, the most important reason for printing money is the cost of war and dealing with crises such as the pandemic. Since 9-11, we've constantly been in some sort of war or crisis one way or the other. Just the interest on the US government's borrowing for going to these wars exceeds over $1 trillion. I'm talking about just the interest. War is an expensive business. Did you know that the Russian invasion of Ukraine has been costing them $15 billion per day? And of course, we've also had the pandemic since early 2020, which gave governments all around the world more excuse to print money. In a way, you could say that governments need you to need them. And printing money is one of the best ways that they can keep this dependency going. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. 
finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform, where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.